Hey, any fish? It's the 6th of November, 2018, Election Day. Now, I'm just compelled to do this after I saw this article, okay? Uh, if you're voting or not, it's irrelevant to me. Uh, I personally do, um, because I like to have a little bit of say in my local politics, in particular. Uh, but, you know, at least it gives you uh, some semblance of a say in who goes into these places of leadership, okay? It's important because the type of people who have been getting into places of leadership shouldn't be there, okay? And these are the ones who've been setting, have been resetting the moral compass of America, okay? These people, I'm just saying, I'm only using this one as an example because that's what the article I was given, okay? About Joe Biden, who incidentally, if you if you listen here, He's talking about the rhetoric online and stuff, right? Kind of like what we're doing right now. But listen to what his moral compass says he, he needs to do. This is what they run on. This is what they want to do. Listen. Assigns as he did a moral equivalence between those dark forces and those opposing them. That fuel puts fuel on the fire of intolerance and legitimates people who should never be heard. Folks. Now, did you hear that? Because I can play it again. I'll link this. But they believe that people who voice their opinions, although some of them are crazy, whack job, psychopaths, and demonically possessed, uh, they should not be heard. That means you and me to hear him fuel on the fire of intolerance and legitimates people who should never be heard uh-huh intolerance so they want to legislate your morals okay to i guess force you to be tolerant right um this is just something that was put on me to share and i'm gonna link something and i could i could do this with a number of these politicians uh, celebrities and what have you, but this is what was given to me, Joe Biden. So I'm going to link this where you can go if you have any doubt about the spiritual warfare that uh, exists all around us that you need to make a decision on, you know, whose side you're on. Uh, this will answer a lot of questions. It's very troubling and most people just want to ignore it which i can't blame them it's disgusting and sickening but it's a fact and you need to understand even if you're just uh, supporting a lesser evil you got you got to look at the spiritual ramifications okay there's a difference between someone who's just sick and evil and someone who does evil things but wants to do good but thinks they have to hide things and lie a little bit so that they can just move up the ladder whether it's politics or business or it doesn't matter you got to make a choice or do you want a good world or do you want this type of world okay where this is normal and accepted do you understand what i'm saying to you this is this is a, a serious choice that needs to be made here so I hope you're all taking that into consideration as you either vote or don't or just go about your days. You know, use discernment and everything. And uh, Jesus is the only way to the actual truth. So he's the one that you vote for first. And then follow, you know, what the Spirit tells you when it pertains to voting for these men and women. Okay? Peace and grace to you. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 